Brooklyn Independent Television. At first glance, Fork and Pencil looks like another cool Court Street shop. But then you step inside and chat with the staff, you realize it's much more. It's a collector's wonderland with a conscience, which gives local shoppers and sellers a unique way to contribute to their community. Fork and Pencil is what I like to think of as a community shop. Uh, very simply put, we're just another retail store. But we're a retail store with what I like to think of as a major difference. What we do is, is we, we, we carry not only new things, uh, we carry children's toys, we also carry letterpress stationery, books that we like, and we also carry uh, consignment. So people in the neighborhood bring things to us, we sell that, and then they get 60% of the selling price, which lets them free up space in their closet and make more room for great other stuff. Then what we do is we actually use the money, the profits that we make from all those sales, and we put them back into the community to support nonprofits that do work in the environment, arts, local education. There, there's one uh, film group that we support called Rooftop Films, which is this terrific uh, film festival, essentially, that runs all summer long and even parts of the winter, where what they do is they, they show films on top of warehouses and in interesting spaces around the city. They do in Williamsburg, up at 3rd and 3rd in the Gowanus area. People bring in uh, shorts, documentaries, even full-length features. We also uh, support uh, uh, environmental groups and also the city green markets, uh, which, which has a couple of local ones, Park Slope around here and Carroll Gardens just down the street. Their mission is to support local area produce. So their farmers come in and sell their produce directly to the consumer, which makes farming more viable. And we all know farmland protection is an important thing right now. So this past weekend, we did a uh, holiday gift fair in Pie Social in conjunction with PS8 up in the Heights and PS29 here in Cobble Hill. And what that was, is they did everything from have a, uh, a judged pie contest. And then what we did is we came in and we said, okay, we're going we're gonna to fill one of the gymnasiums with toys and holiday gifts. And then we're going to take the funds from that and give all the profits from that sale to the two schools based upon what each, each family component bought. We did about $4,000 just off that one sale. And that'll be split based upon the percentage of sales between PS8 and PS29. So, but it was great to bring the two schools together. Where did the name Fork and Pencil come from? Uh, and the best answer I can give you is we just, it, it's two utilitarian objects which are so simple but yet they have a really profound impact on our lives. You can come in here and you can just buy a greeting card or you can find a gift for the holidays. And, and all you're doing is buying something that you want to give to somebody, very simple. But that transaction has a way of giving back into the community. Everything starts here locally. Our customers are local. We do get tourists, we get people from Manhattan. Uh, but, but really, at the end of the day, what we want to do is serve our neighborhood. You want a trail sign? Uh, actually, the animal track. The animal. Now I'm going to take you on a little tour of Fork and Pencil and give you an idea of what we sell and some of the things that we, uh, we have here. One of the things I'm most proud of is uh, letterpress stationery. We carry a lot of different, everything from local vendors to letterpress shops in Maine that really are one-of-a-kind craftsman items. We carry sort of a limited selection of books who we either like their message. We carry a broader array of like cookbooks, uh, but for example, we, we um, with Tracy Kidder, we're running support for uh, Village Health Works uh, by highlighting his books. We also sell books that we just sort of hope people get a chance to read. And we even lend you a copy. All that we ask is that you sign your name in the back and say what you think of the book. But then we also have just a, a huge array of antiques and consignment that come in from everybody all over Brooklyn. We have uh, everything from crystal and glassware to, to porcelain. We have things for just a few dollars up to items that cost several thousand dollars. And it's kind of an adventure because we never really know what we're going to get. As you can see, we get this sort of vast array of just about everything. We have pillows that are, that are hand done for us. We have, uh, we have mirrors that are made for us. I mean, I like to think of antiques. We sell a lot of antiques here as kind of the original recycling. So, you know, I, I think of what we do here as having an environmental mission. The environmental impact of living in a place like New York is significantly lower than if you live in the suburbs, for example. So the trick is, how do you keep people happy in New York? How do you keep them safe uh, and, 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 and healthy and well-educated? All those kind of things we address. So we kind of look at that as like almost like a holistic approach to our environmental mission. Making the urban space more livable. Better schools mean our kids are better educated, which means we're happier to stay in the area. The people who can live here can, don't have to worry about sending their kids far away. 
We also have what I think is probably New York's best but smallest toy shop in the back. So it's a collection of uh, uh, wooden toys and uh, sort of one-of-a-kind items that we try to carry. We keep a very edited selection of children's books here. From one of my favorites, Ezra Jack Keats. We carry just about every book the guy's ever done. So we think it's important to buy things that can be recycled or used again or beaten up over the ages and still look good 20 years from now. Listen, Doug is, is, uh, is a great American wooden toy company. Most of what they do is, is, uh, is in wood. If anybody ha knows of great toy companies out there that are doing interesting work or small vendors, we'd love to hear about them because uh, those are the kind of groups that we're looking to support. This is just a small sampling of what we carry. The best way to find out more is to come by the store and take a look. We get new things in every day or, or go to our website, forkandpencil.com. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.